this is Creatures of Scenaria, a Roblox creature survival game. But there's a ton of tricks and bits of info that most people don't know about. With almost 300 creatures, over 40 abilities, millions of menu buttons, Creatures of Scenaria can be very overwhelming. Which is why in this video, I'll be giving you 31 of the best tips and tricks that are guaranteed to increase your survivability, game knowledge, PvP ability, and a lot more that you do not want to miss. Let's dive in. Number 1. Laying down takes forever to get back up. However, you can reduce that time. While you're laying down, double tap the sit button and you'll stand back up much faster. Here's a comparison. Number 2. As an aquatic, you can dart out of the water and still lay down midair to heal some ailments and remain safe while doing it. You can combine this with the previous trick to get back up faster too. However, as soon as you lay down midair, it stops all of your momentum instantly, but that can be pretty useful, which leads us to the next trick. Number 3. It's pretty common to dart on top of these floating islands to stay safe. However, you have no cover at all, and you need to slowly slither back into the water and you're very likely to get killed but there's a better option to hide in, and it's on screen right now. Can you spot it? If you were thinking tree, you'd be right. Jump into some of the trees. They're pretty easy to get into. There's even a tree on the floating island that's really hard to get on. Number four, a lot of people still don't know about this easy way to increase your damage. All you need to do is hold the aggro button for 10 seconds and it increases your damage by 25% at the cost of stamina regen. Number five, let's push the previous trick a little further. You can remain invisible while you're getting the aggro buff. Use this to make your ambushes that much more effective. Number 6. Not a lot of people know how these two abilities work. Sticky and Poison Trap lay a small pool on the ground that the placer is immune to. The traps last forever, so you could be as annoying as you'd like. Sticky Trap gives the broken legs ailment and greatly slows you down as well. And Poison Trap is self-explainable. Number 7. If you chain two darts together and break out of the water on your second dart, you will go much farther. Here's a comparison. This is just me at the top of the water, one dart, and I can't make this jump. But if I chain two darts together, I go much farther and I can easily make it. Number 8. Similar to the aggro buff, you can do the opposite with the cower button. By holding it for 10 seconds, it boosts your speed and cuts your damage in half. Honestly, the only real use for this is if you want to travel far across the map, so keep it in mind to save some time. Number 9. This one's pretty funny. The aggro and cower buffs don't start ticking down until you move, so you can actually get both the buffs if you stand still. Also, you can still strafe and keep the buffs, as it technically doesn't count as moving. Number 10. You can use any ability while you're airborne after darting. Breath, adrenaline, and visibility too. What's the most useful though is using invis after darting and then laying down in the air to pretty much guarantee an escape. Number 11. When you nest, you're left completely vulnerable most of the time. If you want to remain completely protected, you could use burrow, and you can actually lay your nest inside where it is much safer. Number 12. Ankle biters and flyers can be anywhere from a little bit annoying to absolutely lethal but your positioning in a fight could save your life. Back yourself up into a corner or a place with limited exits, so whatever you're fighting has less room to maneuver around you and sways the odds in your favor. Number 13. Here's how to get max speed instantly with any flyer. If you take off normally by pressing the spacebar or fly button on mobile, you'll just take off regularly. But if you hit the F key or the glide button on mobile, you'll have maximum momentum instantly. Here's a comparison. Number 14. Anytime you spin any gotcha, you gotta wait around 30 years until this dumb animation finishes. So let's skip that entirely. If you go into game and then open up the menu, then the shop, and spin any gotcha, there's no animation, so you can save a lot of time. Number 15. Using a mud pile locks you into a 7 second long animation, leaving you vulnerable to nearby players but it can be easily canceled by inputting any movement. And after a short delay, you're free to move around. Number 16. If you're a glider with the diver passive ability, you can actually bounce off of the water repeatedly. Just start gliding, and when you go into the water, you'll go really fast and start bouncing. 
Number 17. There's an ability that a lot of people have no clue even exists, let alone works. Will to live is very simple. When you run out of stamina, you can continue sprinting at the cost of health. So watch your stamina bar extra carefully if you're playing one of these creatures who have the ability. Number 18. In my last tricks video, I mentioned that you can vanish through this portal in Oasis since you can interact with it super far away. But there's more. Not only can you do this with the one in Oasis, but also in Mesa, Swamp, and Tundra. What you can also do is grab someone and immediately use the portal, and if they're not an aquatic, it's very likely that you can just take them out. Number 19. This trick is a bit stupid, but I promise it can be useful? Maybe? Here's some grass that you can eat. And you'd think that the range in which you can interact with it looks like this, right? Well, actually, it looks like this. So in some select spots, like here in Pride Rocks, you can eat the grass from all the way up here. Speaking of eating food, though, leads us to number 20. While you're consuming any food source, you can actually still use your breath freely. But sadly, this trick probably won't save your life. But what will save your life is the next trick. Number 21. Here's how to become completely immune to meteors. They can very well kill you if you don't take shelter. But what if I told you you don't need shelter? There's an easy trick to completely avoid ever getting targeted by meteors. All you have to do is spin. I'm completely serious. It just works. Don't believe me? Just look at this short time lapse. Number 22. Area Shock is an area of effect ability that inflicts a little bit of broken legs and a bunch of shock. But that little bit of broken legs ailment is very important because it disables flight. So what you can do is knock flyers out of the air with it. And it gets even better when you have jump as well. Just look at this. Number 23. Camera mode is an extremely powerful tool when used at the right time, but it makes you into a sitting duck. You have to wait through two long animations before you get control of your creature back, but you can actually skip one of them. When in camera mode, just hit tab on your keyboard and it takes you out of camera mode instantly. Number 24. Here's another way to zoom in and scout if camera mode is too risky. By zooming into your creature all the way, it puts you into first person and zooms it a decent amount so you can use this if you need to see stuff far away. Number 25. You can actually take off higher into the air. The amount of height you gain from taking off is actually dependent on your FPS. So I'm running at max FPS and I take off this high. But if my friend on the mobile phone made in the Jurassic period takes off... Number 26. This plushie is one of the most broken things in the game. The cat plushie. It gives one offensive bleed. You're probably thinking, Arby, how is that broken? I'm not going to kill anything with a few bleed stacks. Let me explain. Bleed, no matter how much you have on you, one stack, a hundred stacks, 10,000 stacks, it disables your health region entirely. Use this plushie. It's stronger than you think. However, there's another one that is honestly just as strong, which leads us to number 27. The swan plushie is literally all positives with no downsides for aquatics. It takes away 25% stamina regen, yes, but agile swimmer gives 100% and 50% more stamina and 75% more sprint and swim speed. Combine this with a bunny plushie and cower buff and you can make the slowest aquatics much faster. Number 28. Material palettes are customizable based on the heat level of the color you use. Drag the heat up, you get pink. Drag the heat down, you get black. And this works for all material palettes. Number 29. Latching is one of the most broken abilities in the game. But everyone is using it incorrectly. They always latch on the ground, and so they get put under the map where they're stuck forever. Here's how you actually latch. What you need is a creature with latch and jump. You can latch right after jumping. The timing is a bit hard, so you can also do it like this. Jump, and on your way down, hit latch, and you're good to go. Number 30. In the oceans, there are no mud piles, so aquatics cannot hide their scent, but this isn't true. Any creature can open up the action wheel and hide their scent anywhere on the map, including aquatics, if they swim to the edge of shore and get on land just a little bit and they're able to mud roll. Number 31. When you bite with any creature, the hitbox of your attack changes based on where you look. So here's what the bite hitbox looks like. And as you can see, it changes based on where the position of my head is. What's interesting is that the attack animation doesn't mean anything. It's all tied to your head. Here's some of the most unique hitboxes too, like Annie, Korthos, 
and Boreal Warden. Just look at how big this is. Like, what the fuck? And that's 31 tips and tricks for creatures of Scenaria that I guarantee will make you into a better player. But all these tips and tricks I've discussed only scratch the surface, and there's so much more. For instance, I showed you how to fly faster in this video, but what if you want to have infinite flight? So watch this video so you can achieve unlimited flight, parkour, and so much more.